get a better performance out of your website by optimizing your images. Here is how to do it. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and optimizing your images for a website is essential for good SEO. Whether you have a web shop or a blog where you showcase your portfolio, for example, if your website is full of unoptimized images, your website can get slowed down with slow download speeds, which will result in poor user experience. And based on the poor user experience, Google will rank your website worse because fast websites are much more preferred. If you want to find out if your website is slow or fast, you can visit pingdom.com where you can insert your website's URL and it will give you some results. These results include a grade for your website, how fast your loading speed is, and it will also show how big your website is in size. Here are, for example, web shops. They're full of images, but they're still pretty fast. Let's check out why. As you can see, even though these websites are full of product images, they're fairly small in size. The reason why is because probably all the images on the website are optimized, so they don't take up a lot of space. All right, in the followings, I'm gonna show you four ways to optimize images for your website. Number one, converting and resizing images. Very often, website creator tools require you to upload images in a certain format. But even if you're using one that doesn't, it's best to upload images in a file format that is user-friendly. The two best Joker file formats is PNG and JPEG. So if you have a file that is in neither of these, you'll have to convert it. To convert an image, open the unit converter and go to the image converter. Here, import your image. Let's convert this product photo of these shoes that is in .tiff. If you have multiple images to convert, you can add them all and you can do this entire thing in batch. Choose the output format to be JPEG or PNG. But before you hit convert, consider doing some more edits to the photo like cropping it, adding effects. In the upper right corner, if you click on the settings icon, you can also resize the image. And when you're all set, choose an output folder and click on start all. Number two, compressing images. A website has certain dimensions and large images come with large file sizes usually. Now, in order to have the same image, small in size, but with the same quality, you have to compress them with a tool that can compress images without losing quality. AnySmall is a powerful compressor tool that is also available for iOS devices. So let's open it up and import your image or images. Let's go with this product photo of this necklace, which is JPG, but too large for a website. So let's set up the compression rate, then choose an output folder and then click on start all. And with just a few simple clicks, you optimize the size of your image without losing quality. Number three, upscaling images. Now, if an image can be too large, it can be too small as well. If you have an old photo with small dimensions, it's not a good idea to upload it like that. Because in that case, you have two options. You either upload it like that and you leave it as small as it is, or you scale it up manually, but that will leave it in a very, very poor quality, which will make it look unprofessional. And that's something that we don't want. But if you insist on using an image that has very small dimensions, you have the choice to upscale it with an AI tool. With the AI Image Upscaler tool, this can be done with a few clicks. Go to imageupscaler.media.io and upload your image. Here you have three choices. You can upscale it to two times, four times, or eight times the original size. Here you can also see the original dimensions, which as you can see, very small of this image of this watch. I think for a website, a four times scale of this image will be just perfect, so let's do that. And there you go. Once it's done, you can download the image. It's also very useful you have old images that hold their memories and you want to preserve them, maybe print them and put them on the wall. Number three, removing objects from images. Very often the images that we work with have parts that are just off and it makes them unsuitable for a website. For example, after a photo shoot, a photo can have elements that have to be removed. In this image of a necklace, I wanted the string to be removed because 
maybe the website is only selling the metal and you don't want the photo to be misleading. Fortunately, removing parts of an image can solve this issue and any eraser will help you in the process. The software is available online for desktop and for iOS devices. Let's remove this unwanted string from this image using the online version of any eraser. Go to anyeraser.media.io and upload your image. Once it's uploaded, select a brush size and draw over the parts that you want to remove. In this case, I'm going to draw over the string. If I draw over a part that I don't want to remove, I can click on undo or restart the entire process. And once I drew over everything that I want to remove, I click on remove objects. Now, once the process is done, you can download the image. With the desktop version of any eraser, you can do this process in batch, which is very useful when you have a lot of product photos, for example, that you have to remove objects from. There is a huge promotion up to 20% going on for any eraser right now. So check out the description for more details. And one final tip for image optimization for SEO, make sure that you name your images related to the content of them. Which means that if, for example, I have this image of a necklace, I'm gonna name it blue metal necklace. This way, when people are looking for necklaces with a blue metal on them, they will find your web shop much easier. But that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content related to video making. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.